Hello friends, today I will be explaining to us how to use Google Classroom. Google Classroom. Due to the request of, of a lot of students, they have been sending messages that, Sir, how can we use this Google Classroom that you have been talking about? How are we going to use it? Now I will be explaining to us how we can use this platform, how we can use this app. Google Firstly, I would like to tell us that Google Classroom is a platform that helps the class become very att attractive. This is a platform that will allow any online class to be very interesting, to be attractive, because inside Google Classroom, you can do so many things. You can stream, you can download, attach, attach the files, you can do your assignments, you can interact, you can comment, you can do a lot of things inside the classroom, inside the, the platform. Now, I will, I will be discussing four points with us, how to use this, uh, this platform. Four points, four points. Point number one, as we can see here, point number one is how to check updates. How can you check updates inside your Google Classroom? Number two, how to comment. If you want to make any comments, maybe there is anything, maybe there is any question you want to ask, how to do that, how to make comments. Point number three, how to submit your assignment. You know, if you are in, if you are in a classroom, at least you'll be, you, you'll be having assignment to submit. So how to submit your assignment. Point number four, then how to download attached files. Because if there is any, if there is any file that your teacher attached to, to the class, to the stream then how to download this uh, this file uh guys i will i will be telling us this fact you can enter into google classroom through two means as in two ways either your teacher send send a class code to you that you can use as your password or your teacher send sends you an invitation directly if your teacher invites you invited you directly then you will be able to join without using code but uh, in the course of this uh, this uh, video or this training i will be explaining to us how to use google platform uh, without code because uh, we are sending direct invitation to you to you guys so how to use direct uh, invitation but trust me either you use code or you use direct invitation google plat google classroom is the same the how to use code is just for you to just get into your google google class uh, classroom classroom app input your password your your code as your password then click enter then you enter that is how to how to enter into into your google google classroom through through code now let's go into our classroom let's go if you click on your app you open your app this is how your app will be displaying this is how it will be displaying as you can see up here now this is google google classroom you can see google classroom now we are inside premium mobile skills acquisition class three class three this is your teacher this is the name of your teacher simeon any any lumoka now that you are here it doesn't mean that you are inside the class now before you can enter into the class you have to click this blue this blue 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 uh, shade here when you click this blue place it will take you into your your class now we are inside the classroom now we are inside the classroom now as you can see down here you can see stream we are inside stream page now here you can see classwork that is where you'll be finding your, your assignment and where you'll be able to submit your assignment. Now here, you can see people. People here. That is where you will find your, your class uh, classmates. Now let us let, let us talk about the first the first uh, first point. That is how to check updates. When you enter into your class, this is how you can check updates. You will have to scroll down to the last post down to the last post so that is how to 
because this is how google google arrange uh, the classroom the, the the first the first lecture will be down 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 that is how google classrooms that is how google uh, uh, arranges the the classroom when you go down to the last post then you will be able to you will be able to to see the updates now if you see the updates assuming now let, let, let's see see this update now if you see this update you cannot this is not the this is not uh, 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 this is not all this is not all you can't enter into this update not until you click this place this area this area with with the name of your teacher when you click this area then you'll be able to enter and seal the full the full text now let's go click this place then it will take us into this uh, this uh, update as you can see now you can see that uh, we have we have a lot of things we have a lot of things uh, inside this uh, this place now how can you comment how can you make a comment if you want to make a comment how how are you going to make a comment now come to this place come to this place see you can see add class comment add class comment add class comment if you click this place add class comments then you'll be able to type in your your comment any comments maybe maybe you want to ask any question or you want to say something that you want your teacher and your classmates to to to, to see just input the the comment there input the comment there when you input the comment there then just press this this enter button when you see this enter button when you press this enter button then your comment will be will be submitted to to it will be submitted under the the update that is how to check updates and how to make comments now how can you submit your assignment you know let's go back let's go back guys you know i told you the other time that this place this is your class this is your class work area that is where you find your assignment and that is where you'll be able to submit your assignment now you will have to click this class work classwork area when you click your classwork area it will take you into this place now let's see can you see guys we have one assignment here now one assignment you just have to click on this place when you click on it then it will take you to this uh, this place as you can see this is the this is the assignment uh the teacher said make sure you submit all the assignments of courses we had in whatsapp whatsapp group in whatsapp group now that is the assignment that is the information that the, the the teacher passed across to to you guys now what will you do how will you submit the assignment now you have to come to this place can you see your work your work then just click on this ad work when you click on that ad work just click on the ad work it will show you this place maybe you want to upload maybe you want to drop a link maybe you want to create maybe you you want to go into your to your drive it will take you to this place this is the place this is the area where you will be able to to submit your your assign assignment this is the area that you'll be able to submit your assignment can you see now then you will just add add your assignment and submit if you want to upload you click upload you upload the file that you want to drop if you want to if you want to use camera maybe you want to snap you, you want to snap your assignment maybe it's a written assignment that you want to snap just use that then you upload it into into this place but assuming you now have uh, a, 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 an assignment that you submitted but maybe you you are like oh i i missed something there that you want to you want to make a correction you just have to come back to this place when you come back to this place then you click on on submit you click on that then it will delete or remove that uh, assignment submitted then you'll be able to submit another one that you want to you want to submit then the fourth point that we are going to talk about that is how to download attached files how to download attached file we have to go back we have to go back to the stream we have to go back to the stream because it is inside the stream that you'll be able to find it is inside the stream that you'll be able to find the attached files. Now, you know, I told you the other time that this is not a complete, complete, uh, uh, 
update you cannot see the complete update until you click that area where your teacher's name where where your teacher teacher's name is when you click that place then it will take you inside the update where you will be able to see the complete complete uh, input complete update now we are inside the update as you can see these are the files these are the attached files with this uh, this update this, these are the attached file with this update now if you want to download any any of the of the attached file you just have to click on the attached file when you click on the attached file it will load and take you to this uh, this place now let's wait it depends on your network let's wait it will take you to this uh, to this uh, to this place when it take you to this place then you will be able to you will be able to to see now as you can see we are inside the the attached uh, place attached file place now now this is the file that you want to download you can just click you can just click this uh, this place it will take you can you see let's go back let's go back see this place see this place if you click this place it will take you to your drive to inside drive where there this attached file is where you can find this attached file but if you want to do another thing can you see this these three three dotted dotted uh, uh this three dotted line can you see them just click there when you click there then you will see send google send google feedback you can send google you can send feedback to google from that place if you want to 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 to, to, to explain or if you want to to make a comment that how you how you find this uh, this uh, platform you can you can do that from that place but if you want to download this attached file just click here it will take you to this uh, this uh, this drive when it, when this when you are inside the drive then click again these three dotted dotted lines can you see these three dotted lines just click when you click these three dotted lines then you be, you will see the options inside you can see download this is download but if you want to open it with any application you can use this one to download to open with any application but if you want to download inside your 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 own uh, um, smartphone your own drive where you'll be able to access it anytime that you need it then you can just click download and it will be downloaded into your into your 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 your, your drive if you want to copy the link maybe you want to copy the link and use anywhere this is copy the link you can copy the link here if it is something that you want to print just click here you will print if you want to remove it you can just click here and do do that now let's go back to to our classroom let's go back to our classroom guys that is all that is how to use google classroom i hope this video will help you guys how to maneuver around google classroom take care